Yo, how's it going Yankees fans and Major League Baseball fans? Yet again, this is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? So we all know Major League Baseball's rich history when it comes to breaking barriers. As we know, Jackie Robinson was the first African American to ever step on a Major League Baseball field. And I know, I'm not speaking for everybody, but I know the majority of people out there, well-rationalized people, appreciate how the sacrifices Jackie Robinson had to make to becoming a major leaguer and opening the floodgates for athletes of color to pursue their dreams in whatever sports they wanted to play. And not only sports, we're talking about the music industry, we're talking about Hollywood, whatever. Because of people like Jackie Robinson and Major League Baseball being really one of the first uh, platforms, professional platforms, to uh, let people play their game. And we're not talking about a league that was not heard of. We're talking about Major League Baseball, which was seen and heard by millions back then. Literally more popular. It was more popular back then than it is today. So having Jackie Robinson and giving him that exposure gave minorities confidence, specifically African Americans. It gave them confidence to believe that one day they could make it in America and like I said back then baseball was bigger it was bigger than life and just imagine if you're a African-American kid growing up and knowing that Jackie Robinson was playing on the Brooklyn Dodgers that would have gave you a confidence boost and yes because of Jackie Robinson he opened the gates as well for Latin American players and any player of color this was a society issue. He opened the gates for many people of color to pursue many things in America and maybe the world. As you know, America has always been influential in influencing other cultures and other countries. But since Major League Baseball wants to get political, you know, I could get political as well. What we're seeing nowadays is not what you call a color issue. What we're seeing today is a culture issue issue what we're seeing today is broken homes kids not growing up with fathers kids desperately seeking father figures the only father figures being available are the father figures in the streets look i don't know about you guys but i was raised in the way where if my parents saw me outside they would have whooped my ass with a belt this is the problem with America. It's not a color issue. I understand there's racism, but it's a ploy to make minorities feel like they're worthless. To bring you back to the days of where Jackie Robinson was trying to break color barriers. It's a whole big old ploy to make you feel worthless and to make you feel like whatever Jackie Robinson accomplished that you can't accomplish that today in America. It's a big old demoralization ploy to make you feel like you can't be like those brave African Americans like Jackie Robinson, those brave Latinos like Roberto Clemente. It's erasing their memories. It's erasing the struggles of other people in the past that had to deal with things a thousand times worse than what people are supposedly crying about today. And I'm sorry, it might rub people the wrong way, but if you think you can't make it in America, you've been demoralized. There's avenues you could take. I understand there's bad cops, and I understand they're good cops. Good cops obviously outnumber bad cops. I understand there should be police reform, but if you ask me, I think there should be FBI reform than any other platform that's out there because the FBI has too much power, but that's another issue for whatever we're talking about. Yes, people get discriminated against. It happens, but are you going to let a loser tell you that you're worthless, that you can't make it in America? You have to be bigger than that. They're the morons that look stupid. They're the ones that look racist. They're the ones that look like they have hate in their heart. Not you. You have to be bigger than that. 
you have to realize that you have potential. You have to realize that there's avenues for you to make it in life, to make it in America. People don't understand what America is. People have forgot. My family didn't come to America for a worse life. They came for a better life. So fast forward now. Major League Baseball is promoting the idea of kneeling during the National Anthem. Hey, if you want people to kneel, supposedly that's their freedom of speech. Don't get mad when other people get mad that people are kneeling when the National Anthem is being played. Don't get mad when somebody on the left, somebody on the right, somebody in the middle wants to distract themselves from politics, the crazy world out there we're living in. Don't be surprised when people get mad at Major League Baseball once they tune in and watch how Major League Baseball is political now. You know what the national anthem and the American flag stands for for me? It stands for all the good that comes out of America or came out of America. Like Jackie Robinson being the proud black man that he was, a strong black man breaking the color barrier. Or Martin Luther King Jr. bringing everybody together, white, black, whatever, everybody of color, everybody that's white, whatever you want to call it, bringing everybody together. And by the way, Major League Baseball, that hashtag that you keep uh, pasting on your post, yeah, that hashtag is sponsored by a certain political party out there. So every time you post that hashtag, you're becoming a donor to that political party. So, hey, I'm a libertarian-minded person. I believe that government shouldn't be in my business. Uh, institutions shouldn't tell me what to do. I should live my life as long as I don't hurt others. Oh, so simple. That's common sense. So, Major League Baseball, do what you want to do. You're a private company. You're a business. But if you're surprised that you start losing viewers and fans... Uh, that's on you. That that was your business decision, the owner's decisions, and hey, whatever. They could do whatever they want. I support that. I support individuals and businesses doing whatever the hell they feel like doing. But MLB, when you try hard to attract uh, more diversity to the game, uh, start by building indoor baseball fields in inner cities because when it gets cold down here, kids can't play baseball anymore. Put your money where your mouth is. I always see Major League Baseball trying to, you know, attract inner city youth. And I don't see nothing being built. I just see, oh, we're going to sponsor a little league team or something. Start building and they will come. Start building and they will come. So your hashtags as of now, MOB, whoever the hell runs your social media platforms, the same people who desecrated Lady Liberty back in 2018, putting a Red Sox jersey on the Statue of Liberty. Your hashtags don't mean jack you know what, unless you're in the community building. And that's all I have to say.